It's a pretty sure thing that consumers will adopt new technology that offers great benefits. Industry is the same. Electric utilities are already modernizing to improve reliability, safety, security, efficiency, environmental impact, and resilience. The only question now is the speed and depth of the change. This matters because when the power is out, life is interrupted. When it doesn't come back quickly and emergency generators are tapped out, everything stops and basic things like food, water, and medical care are at risk. Our nation's power grid was originally built to carry electricity in one direction from large central power plants to homes and businesses. But today it brings power from a wide variety of smaller, intermittent sources like home solar systems and local wind facilities that help increase reliability and reduce carbon emissions. With electric vehicles and battery storage facilities drawing heavy, variable loads all over the grid, more power is flowing in more directions, a much more complex and potentially dangerous situation. Utilities use smart technologies to keep the modern grid safe and reliable to prevent issues from arising and recover quickly when they do. They're putting sensors all over the grid to tell operators about power levels, downed lines, and other conditions. And they're installing smart devices to take action and better predict and prevent the failure of mission-critical equipment that delivers electricity to customers like you and me. But how does information get from the sensors to the control systems and from the control systems to the smart devices? Historically, over both wired facilities as well as a jumble of old wireless networks, each of these wireless systems is typically limited to moving only the data for a single type of device, which is too difficult and expensive to manage. As surely as utilities will modernize, they'll move away from those old networks and anchor the grid on a powerful, flexible communications platform that will support their needs today and into the future. It'll be a combination of wired and wireless because it's too expensive to run wires to so many devices. It'll be broadband because there's too much data for anything less. It'll be private because shared systems aren't secure and reliable enough. And it'll be resilient because if it ever goes down, it has to come back up very, very quickly. Building a robust communications platform requires infrastructure, devices, and the right dedicated spectrum to carry the signal. The best kind of spectrum for utility infrastructure and devices is spectrum that enables LTE, a technology already proven to work well for consumers and critical infrastructure all over the world. And the best choice of spectrum is licensed, not unlicensed, frequencies below 1 GHz, which carry signal farther and stronger than higher band frequencies. Utilities will modernize on a wireless broadband network platform, and Terex will help make it happen with purpose-built LTE networks in the 900 MHz band, the best options for the modern grid. And Terex the foundation for resilience, security, reliability, and modernization.